Hey guys, another PB update for you here. Uh, just gonna go through the jungle, so I'm just gonna do both both sides of the map, and I'll take a take a dragon for you guys. Let's just show you guys the overall jungling landscape. From my uh, early impressions of it, it seems like they uh, like they have um, heavily increased the damage of the bu of the main buffs and of all the small encampments, like even the wraiths and stuff. Like the big the big wraith, he uh, he does a lot more damage than I remember. They chunk you pretty hard in this. Uh, this is the new uh, white uh, giant fat frog. I think I'm not even hundred percent sure what that is. Here's the wolf camp here. Same thing, just you know, updated looking wolves. As you see, I'm I'm level six. I have a last whisper and a jungle and I'm still taking a nice chunk of damage. So they definitely have increased the uh, damage output of what it seems to be all the things in the map. Um, another thing, I don't know if you've noticed, but Baron's not even spawned yet, and it's 19 minutes. Uh, Baron now spawns at 20 minutes instead of 15. So, sorry to Zingy and all the other guys who do those early, early like 15 minute uh, Baron takes without being seen. That's not going to be possible anymore. They got rid of that. As of right now. Again, these changes are tentative. They're not guaranteed to happen. But usually when they make it to PB, they're usually... You know, like something of this kind of feel is gonna be what goes to live. Might still tweak it a bit, but as of right now, this looks like it's what's what's it, what it is gonna be. All right, so <clears throat> as you see, you've now seen all the uh, all the camps on this side. Um, just so you know, uh, the quick smite uh, obviously I already went through all the things it does, but I'll explain it again here. Uh, smiting a large monster on the enemy side of the map rewards 50% bonus gold. Base damage, base cooldown is reduced to 50 seconds, and also they increase the smite cooldown from 40, which is live right now, back up to 60. And so, if you have this, it lowers it. Also, if you, uh, large monster kills on will cooldown will decrease the cooldown, so now it's only down to 40. So it allows you to get it back down to what it was, but uh, it's still going to be, uh, <coughs> you know, a different uh, thing for sure. A lot of people are like, oh, why can't I smite? My smite should be already back up. It won't be. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of a... Uh, it's probably going to take a little bit of time for people to actually realize that uh, they're not going to be able to smite like that quickly. So, Also, if I'm, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure the spawning of the buffs, like the bread and blue, I think is at 220 or 225 now. So it's complete, like they've completely delayed how the, uh, how the buffs spawn. Like, m like you, junglers won't be able to start right away before like Ray of the Minions hit in the lanes, like 155 anymore, yeah, that's right now, it's around 220 is when the red and blue buffs spawn. <coughs> so I'm just going to take Dragon out here for you, show you the how the how the how how you know if you got the buff and what the buff actually looks like when you grab it, so let's take this bugger out. He does have a knockback now, and he does do quite a nice chunk of damage, as you saw there. When he knocks you back, he does a nice chunk. Still doing quite a nice chunk of damage. As you can see, like his damage is 230, so he hits you pretty hard. And there's the buff. It says Dragon, the level of the of the buff you are on, and what that just gave you. So obviously it said Dragon Slayer 1, colon, regeneration. Because it gives you ba uh, base, uh, it gives you increase on your health and mana regen per 5, which I explained in a previous video, but I just wanted to actually show you guys. Um, you've probably also seen this guy in another video when I, I believe I was playing Rengar. Um, this no guy's supposed to be that new crab camp. Obviously right now he's not a crab camp, but as you see when you kill him, this no pad here, it gives you, gives your team and you movement speed. And pretty much a mini vision thing of that area for that X amount of time. I think it's like 45 to up to a minute. So, uh, worth the time. As you see, I'm not there. There's no wards there. It just this circle gives you vision of the dragon pit. Also, if you kill this guy here, it'll give you vision of the baron pit. As you see, the no ghost will follow right to the starting point of the thing, and it'll disappear, and you'll become a watching point. So I think that's going to change how warding is done. Like a lot of people, are like yeah, we could ward that, or we could just kill that thing and using and keep continually using our uh, blue trinkets. You know. For the pro scene, I, th I believe it's going to be something along those lines. So yeah, so that's I'm pretty sure that's almost all the all the changes I should. I think I covered everything that is live at the moment. So thank you guys for watching. Um, 
Obviously, there's going to be probably more more stuff over the next few days. I will try my best. It is Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada, so I won't be around a huge amount of time. So uh, if I can't do this weekend, I'll definitely do it the, the Monday when I get back. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. And uh, if you live in Canada, enjoy Thanksgiving.